We have one dominant player in the Sparkassen Open of the International Chess Days this year, Max Bamadam, who is with me after his seventh Rouse win. Congratulations, Max. Yes, thank you. On seven out of seven, how do you feel? Uh, great, especially since I lost a lot of points in the Bundesliga. I uh, had a terrible uh, weekend. Okay. And now I'm uh, trying to get back my rating. So one week ago, yeah? That yeah, was... one week ago. And now you're playing very good chess here, I guess? Yeah. And today you played uh, Thomas Bertsen, also from the Netherlands. Do you know him well? Or? Yeah, really well. Yeah, he's a very good friend. We've traveled to many tournaments, and I go to lunch and dinner here basically almost every day with him. So, uh, yeah, definitely close. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, always a bit strange uh, of a situation because he wants to become grandmaster here. Yeah. And then I would like him to become one, but on the other hand, I also uh, don't want to hand out points. Yeah, and want to win the tournament, obviously. Yeah, also yeah. that, of course. Um, and yeah, he actually did offer a draw move 10, okay. which I could accept, but I thought a draw is a good thing for him probably. So if I think things are slightly going wrong, I could probably still take it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the game went actually great, so and there was no need to offer it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we see the position after the opening Italian game. Um, I think you felt comfortable after the opening? Yes, I more or less analyzed these type of positions in this uh, morning. And I thought once I stabilize, um, it should be nice for Black because I have the yeah, space advantage with the center pawn. Mm -hmm. And he has a proof why, uh, why he is all right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he just started to play normal moves, but uh, maybe a bit on the, uh, slow. I think he should go for d4 at, at some point. At okay. some point, yes, to open up and get activity. Instead, he went for uh, bishop a3 here, which I think is in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, there's not much happening on the diagonal, especially after I played rook e8. So your idea is to activate your knight, as we will see later? Yeah, later on. I didn't see the idea here yet, but the, the point is with this pieces all over here, this king might become weak, especially with the bishop targeting f2. Yeah. Um, and it's a bit annoying that this bishop cannot go to a lot of squares. I would like to go to... Oh, it's quite a move, but I would like to go to h5. But, yes. Um, yeah, the knight is protecting it. So after he played rook d2, which I think is a mistake because he again plays it way too slow. So she, he has to be active with b5 or d4. Or yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Okay. I played knight f5, trying to exchange the knights and then get the bishop to h5. So the good defender you want to get yeah, rid of? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so he, but he played knight e4. And um, yeah, here I had seen beforehand that I could go bishop h5. Yeah, your idea. And okay. now if I manage to take on f3, his king will collapse because you will have to take back with the uh, piece, but he has g4, yes, and this was critical. Mm -hmm. um, but he had no time at this point, he had like 10 minutes, okay, and so he didn't, he thought, okay, he probably did calculate it, and I think it should be uh, great for black, I'm not sure I saw the exact line, but I, I wanted to take, take, and then go knight h4, sacrificing his second piece. Pretty nice to get the queen to yeah, d4, I guess. Yeah, the point is to get take. the queen in, and if he takes, I take with the queen, and then uh, the king is just getting checkmated somehow. Like if he goes king f1, uh, perhaps I go knight f4 or take the knight. Um, and with queen h3 to come, I already have two pawns for one piece and I'll take this one for sure. So I was never worried that mm -hmm. the attack is not going to work out. Yeah, seems to be very strong. Yeah, okay. so he went knight, knight h2. Uh, but this is of course very wrong. Uh, okay, not saying it's a bad move, but it feels very wrong to put all the pieces back and yeah. now... Shaky bishop, yeah. bad knight. Yeah, yeah. I got knight f4 in, and I couldn't do that before because there was a bishop on f7. Like for example, in this position, uh, I can never move this knight because yeah. he takes my bishop. Yeah, yeah. So once I actually got in bishop so h5, the bishop h5 move was very important. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I went knight f4, and now all the pieces start coming. I think I threatened knight takes g2. Um, so let's say he plays a random move like b5. I think I can just take it. Yeah. And then king takes. And I saw that I made him with knight h4, king g3, now queen f5. And okay, I threatened queen f4, queen f4 mate. Checkmate. And if he takes, I have check <laughs> and I take the knight. And now g5 is his threat. And or queen h2, yeah? Yeah, or queen h2, exactly. Checkmate. So I saw more or less this mate. So I have a very big threat and he went g4. But this is of course very desperate because his king will just uh, get weak. I went knight h4. And okay, he cannot take the bishop because he would just get checkmated. <laughs> two, two very strong knights, a queen, yeah, that's yeah, too much. And for also the, the bishop is participating very nicely. Yeah, true. So in some lines he can, for example, not go knight g3 because at the very least I can take it because yes. the f-pawn is pinned. Yeah, yeah. So he went for king h1. And here 
uh, was a bit of a question how to continue. I could have just played bishop g6 and then just stabilize and okay, this looks awful on the king side. Also h3 is dropping, so it yeah, should sure. probably win in the long term, but I went for f5, um, which I thought was uh, much more direct and I didn't want to give him space to, mm -hmm. to get his defense in order. Yeah, yeah. Looks like fun to yeah. play f5. Okay, yeah, he so he moves the knight away. And now um, I just went to h6, which I thought was simple. Just a concrete line, yeah? H6? Yeah, I mean, just both pieces are hanging, so if he takes here, I just take here, and it just looks very, great. Very good, I'll yeah. take on h3, so very instead good. he went knight f7. I thought he should have tried knight e6, but it should be bad anyway. Okay. I just took, I went rook f8, and here, yeah, it's just uh, totally lost, I thought. I didn't finish it in a, let's say, an easy way. But I think a very nice way. Yes, of course. Uh, he went b5 to create some kind of counterplay. I went knight f3. He cannot ever take because um, I'll just take. And then my queen comes into h3. It's mate, just, yes. It's just mate. So he takes, uh, sorry, he went b takes a6 to get some counterplay over here, but it's of course way too slow. And here I first wanted to take the rook, but then instead I saw I will just checkmate him. I take the knight. <laughs> so you can take the knight, the rook, or the rook. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. But okay, you also sacrificed some material. Not even really. I mean, here I'm down in exchange, but okay, I go knife three back and, and I attack again. the rook. So he thought I was getting, giving him chances, but he's also just getting checkmated because there is a g3 coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's just game so over. So it's, it's, it's just winning for, for black here. Yeah, and queen b6, and now I show my idea to go g3. Pretty with, nice. Yeah, with two threats, not only queen h3, but also g2 mate. So he took on g7 to try to stop the queen from coming in. But uh, instead, the pawn uh, gave the mate. Yeah, great, great picture to yeah. end the game with the two knights and the pawn on G2. Very nice. Yeah, congrats, Max. Thank uh, you. I hope you feel good here in Dortmund and you I like the tournament. I definitely do, yes. Okay, so good luck for the last two rounds and uh, good Thank luck for winning much. the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.